On today's How To segment, we've got Adina Klein with us from Talking Stacy Charles, and we're talking about how to be your own designer. Welcome, Adina. Hi. So the question really is, you know, there's so many choices when it comes to color, and I think that knitters can be really kind of paralyzed when it comes to it sometimes. So I, com I completely agree with you. So how do you think about it? Well, my job as a creative director is to come up with a visually cohesive book. So when I'm picking colors, I'm definitely trying to pick colors that go together, but I'm also trying to figure out what's going to look on one side of a page and one, what's going to look on the other side of a page. So um, if you see a sweater that you love, but you, you're not responding to the colors, there are really easy ways to get the same effect using colors that you like. Mm -hmm. so for instance, with this sweater over here, this reverse stockinette striped sweater, I've chosen these two grays, mm -hmm. so two colors in the same, t two tones of the same color, excuse mm -hmm. me, and then a highlight color. Here, which is the green. Which is the here. bright green. Here, I've knitted some swatches for you, mm -hmm. um, showing how we have a hot pink and a red, both in the red family, um, working with the black. So you're getting the same effect, but you know, in a totally different color way. Here mm -hmm. I'm pretending that the same gray and the blue are both cool colors with mm -hmm. a hot red. And here I'm showing how, um, in this stripe, how just three colors that you like that go together can often work. Um, in this Tweety shawl, again, I have two coordinating colors and a highlight color. Here, we took, again, two reds, mm -hmm. and we put a black in between. Mm -hmm. It looks great. Um, here, instead of doing coordinating colors, I did complementary colors and a sort of neutral brown to separate them. And then just found the right thing to tie them all together. Exactly. Yeah. Now, another really popular yarn that people really respond to are these self-striping yarns that have a bunch of colors in them. And um, we've come up with a few ways to, to take advantage of the color striping. This vest here, actually we're striping the striping yarn. So you get a bunch of colors. Um, so is this two different It's colorways two or? different colorways, okay. actually, that we've striped. Mm -hmm. um, here in this garment, we've used the same colors, but we're doing color blocking so that um, you know each section is its own mm -hmm. color. Well, and how would you recommend, you know, are there any like tricks to working with self-striping yarns? Or? Well, one thing you need to know is what you're getting is not always all the colors you're seeing. Since mm -hmm. they're striping, often you have to, to see every color in the rainbow or in <laughs> this particular <laughs> shade. You have to sort of t look into your ball and see, you know, other colors that may not be appearing on the first wrap. Mm -hmm. Another thing is if you're um, fussy, <laughs> which I am at times, and you're knitting a cardigan, your yarn is not necessarily going to start at the same place. See how on this side it's yellow, but mm -hmm. here it's green? I mean, we like the randomness of it, mm -hmm. but if you're, you know, not that kind of knitter, it's perfectly okay to go into your ball of yarn and kind of pull out until you find, you know, the yellow. Mm -hmm. Then I just cut and start knitting here. I mean, just because it's been cut, it doesn't mean it's not good yarn and, you know, knit with this part later mm -hmm. on. So it really is, so you just find the, the sequence of colors that right, you like. Right, exactly. Work with it. Also, you know, if you're knitting a whole sequence and you've mm -hmm. ended on yellow and co coincidentally your new skein starts on yellow, you can have a big yellow blob. So mm -hmm. that's another time you'd want to switch out your colors. So you really don't have to be afraid. Right. Don't be afraid. Yarn is your friend. <laughs> um, and then I wanted to show you this um, sort of fabulous Fair Isle coat cardigan that we're mm -hmm. working on um, and sort of show you the design process that we were working on. Let's talk about the, the original sweater. The um, original sweater. Yeah. Well, the original sweater is, um, it's a f Fair Isle cardigan. It's oversized. It's got set in pockets. Um, how, when you plan a colorway for something like this, how do you approach it? Well, I have I take these skeins of yarn literally, and I kind of play with them um, until I find one I like. With a with a color work such as a Fair Isle, mm -hmm. you're not necessarily going to know until you actually knit right. a big swatch. For right. instance, here our original intent was to have this red, but when it um, showed up in our striping system, we just hated it. And 
because we were a little lazy, <laughs> we just took this yellow first to see if the yellow would work. We didn't like it here. And these are alternatives, right? These are alternatives to the red because we were really happy with the way it was working here, but we weren't happy with this. Mm -hmm. And this gray, there really wasn't enough separation between these two colors. Mm -hmm. Fortune had it that um, a new color <laughs> for came in from from. Uh, from the yarn fairies, <laughs> and we ended up using just little bits of this bright green, and it really added to the um, final project. And I think that's a great tip, Adina, and I'll be right back with Shay for part two of our progressive project. Knitting daily. Make time for yarn every day. Visit our website for free access to all the patterns, project ideas, tips, and techniques from this season of Knitting Daily. Log on and get printer-friendly patterns and more at KnittingDailyTV.com. This is show 308. Take your knitting to the next level. Visit KnittingDailyTV.com for your free e-booklet of 13 tips, hints, and secrets to improve your knitting skills from the designers featured on Knitting Daily TV. Knitting Daily has been sponsored in part by Interweave Magazines and Books, inspiring, encouraging, and supporting creative self-expression through art and craft media. Interweavestore.com Webs, America's yarn store, a source for knitting and crocheting yarns and supplies. Yarn.com Taki Stacy Charles, feel the desire, knit your passion. TakiStacyCharles.com TNNA, the National Needle Arts Association, the organization for independent needle arts retailers, tnna.org.